Over the next few days, we are going to hear three fairy tales. Fairy tales are stories that feature members of a royal family, such as princes, princesses, kings, and queens. There are also characters with magical powers or magical transformations. Many of these things that happen in, fa in fairy tales are fantasy and cannot happen in real life. In other words, fairy tales are fiction. The story I'm about to read to you today is called The Fisherman and His Wife. This story was originally told by two brothers in Germany known as the Brothers Grimm. This is a picture of a flounder fish. A flounder fish is a type of flat fish that hides itself under the surface of the sand and waits for its prey or animal that it eats. Fairy tales are often royal have royal characters or super characters with supernatural powers. I want you to predict what magical powers the character in this story will have and whether there will be a royal character. I want you to listen to see if your predictions are correct. Once there was a fisherman who lived with his wife in a little old run-down hut by the sea. Every day the fisherman went to the sea to fish. One day, as the fisherman sat looking into the clear, shining water, he felt a strong tug on his line. He pulled and pulled with all his might, until at last out flopped a large golden flounder. Then, all of a sudden, the fish spoke. Oh, please let me go, said the fish. I am not an ordinary fish. I am an enchanted prince. Put me back in the water and let me live. Swim away, said the fisherman. I do not eat a fish that can talk. At the end of the day, the fisherman went back to his wife in the little old run-down hut. Did you catch anything today? she asked. No, said the fisherman. I caught one fish. But he told me he was an enchanted prince, and asked me to throw him back. So I did. You fool, said the wife. That was a magic fish. You should have asked him for something. Like what, said the fisherman. Go back and ask him to change this dinky hut into a charming cottage. The fisherman did not want to go back, but he did not want to argue with his wife either. So he made his way back to the sea. When he arrived, the water was no longer clear and shining. It was dull and greenish. The fisherman called, Hear me, please, O magic fish. My wife has sent me with a wish. The fish swam up to the surface and asked, What does she want? She has says she wants to live in a charming cottage, said the fisherman. Go home, said the fish. She has her cottage. The fisherman went home. Sure enough, there was his wife standing in the doorway of a charming cottage. The cottage had a little front yard with a garden and some chickens and goose pecking at the ground. Inside there was a living room, a kitchen, and a dining room, and a bedroom. Wonderful, said the fisherman. That is sure to make you very happy. The fisherman's wife was happy for about a week. Then she said, Husband, I am tired of this little college. I want to live in a big stone castle. Go back and ask the fish to give us a castle. But wife, said the fisherman, he's just given us his cottage. If I go back so soon, he may be angry with me. Go and ask, said the wife. The fisherman shook his head and mumbled to himself. It is not right, but he did as he was told. When he reached the sea, the water had turned dull green to dark purple and gray. The fisherman called, Hear me, please, O magic fish. My wife has sent me with a wish. When the fish swam up, the fisherman said, My wife wishes to live in a big stone castle. Go home, said the fish. You will find her in a castle. When the fisherman got back, he could hardly believe his eyes. The charming cottage had been replaced by a large stone castle. A servant unrolled a drawbridge for him. The fisherman went across the bridge into the castle, where he found two servants sweeping a smooth marble floor. The walls were covered with beautiful tapestries. Crystal chandeliers hung from the ceiling. His wife stood in the center of the room, next to a table piled high with delicious food. 
Now indeed you will be content, said the fisherman to his wife. She was, until the next morning. As the sun rose and the fisherman's wife poked her husband in the side and said, Husband, get up! Go to the fish at once and tell him I wish to be queen of all the land. Heavens, cried the fisherman, I can't ask for that. Go and ask him, said his wife. The dejected fisherman walked to the sea. The water was black. It bubbled and gave off a foul smell. The fisherman hesitated, then called. Hear me, please, O oh magic fish. My wife has sent me with a wish. The fish swam up and asked. Now what does she want? With his head hung low, the fisherman said, My wife wishes to be queen of all the land. Go home, said the fish. She is queen, already queen. The fisherman went home and found the castle had grown even larger. It had tall stone tur turrets on each corner and a crimson flag flapping in the wind. Two guards in suits of armor stood at the door. They escorted the fisherman inside, where he found his wife sitting in a high throne studded with diamonds. She wore a long silk dress and a golden crown. In her hand she held a scepter studded with rubies. On one side of her stood barons and dukes and duchesses. On the other side stood a line of ladies in waiting, each one shorter than the one before. So, said the fisherman, now you are queen. Indeed his wife said haughtily. Well then, said the fisherman, I suppose there's nothing more to wish for. But that very evening, as the sun went down and the moon began to rise in the sky, the fisherman's wife set out for her husband. Husband, she bellowed, it displeases me that the sun and the moon will not rise and set at my command. Go to the fish and tell him I must have the power to make the sun and the moon rise and set whenever I choose. See that it is done immediately. The fisherman walked back to the sea. He felt sick all over. His knees knocked together nervously. At the seaside, thunder roared and the lightning flashed. Huge dark waves crashed on the shore. The fisherman had to shout, Hear me, please, O oh magic fish. My wife has sent me with a wish. The fish swam up and asked, What does she want? The fisherman replied, My wife wants the power to make the sun and the moon rise and set whenever she chooses. The fish only said, Go home. And so he did. There he found his wife sitting in an old run-down hut, and there they live to this very day. Now it is time for you to answer the questions on the sheet that accompanied this story. Remember to answer your questions, answer the questions in complete sentences. Were your predictions about the character's magic powers correct? Where did the fisherman and his wife live at the beginning of the story? How did the husband feel about asking the flounder for things over and over again? Remember, your answers should be in complete sentences. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.